So today we're, we're talking about problem solving and I tell my students all the time the, uh, the, the difficulty in math isn't the math, it's the words. Oftentimes students think that they are not good at math because of word problems and this is not so much an, uh, an exercise in math but it's an exercise in reading and getting the math out of the words. Now particularly today we're talking about a, uh, a problem solving skill deciding if we need an estimated answer or an exact answer. So we have to decide whether or not from these word problems we need to estimate or find an exact number. Now these are two different problems. One requires you to estimate and the other to find an exact answer. Now in problem A, this problem reads, Britta's school district planted trees to celebrate Arbor Day. The high school students planted 1,536 trees. The elementary students planted 1,380 trees. About how many more trees did the high school students plant? Now I'm going to tell you right now that the one thing that you need to have noticed is this word about. I'm just going to give it to you because that is the key word that you need to know. When we read problem B, you're going to notice when you don't have the word about, it changes the problem, it changes the question. Problem B, students in grades 2 and 4 wrote 61 stories to celebrate author day at their school. The second graders wrote 26 of those stories. How many stories did the fourth graders write? Because the word about does not appear, you have to find out exactly how many stories the fourth graders wrote. Now that is the big difference. And if you know how to estimate, then you can solve this problem with the math. And if you know how to uh, add and subtract, then you can figure out this problem to find the exact answer. Now there is another uh, procedure that uh, I've talked about in another problem solving uh, video, and it has to do with the four step process for word problems because again, it's not the math that's difficult, it's being able to read and understand what information you have to make a plan and decide if you're going to add, subtract, or estimate to solve it and then to check. So in another video, in second part two video, I'm going to go through this process.